confused. Eh, I'm gonna get rid of regardless because it does have the extra 30 power. So that, in my opinion, is definitely worth it. And then also the convenience and not have. Wait, 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 what? Burfru can learn surf. What? How does that work out? Furfur, are you a fish and you have not told me? What? <laughs> hey guys, it's Fishlong here, and welcome back to the 18th episode of the Pokemon Omega Ruby Wonderlock. In the last episode of. Uh... Not speak today. I really, really cannot speak today. I just messed up my whole intro. But anyways, in the last episode, for those who have not checked it out, go check it out. But basically, all we did was we went ahead and we basically destroyed our dad in a battle, even though he was basically just stalling us the whole time. You know, thanks for that, dad. That was really, really nice of you. That really, really was nice of you. But anyways, the question today, as you all can see, down below or on the screen or up above, somewhere on the screen right now, is basically going to be who is your favorite pseudo Pokemon. Personally, my favorite pseudo is gotta be Dragonite. Like, I absolutely love Dragonite. I feel like Dragonite really just has a lot of personality to him. I, I don't, like, that's just my opinion. That really is just my opinion. Like, he was also the first, like, pseudo that was ever in the game. So that's why I, I guess, one of the reasons why I really like him. And I feel like he needs, a, like, a Mega really, really badly. Route 118, I don't know if I got one before. I think I did, because I think I fished here. I believe I fished, so I don't think I get a encounter, but I still need to battle this guy. Let my melody rock your soul. Okay then, I guess I don't really have anything else to do about that, but I'll let it rock my soul. Anyways, my voice kind of sounds a little bit um, off today, it's just because I'm tired and I I need a break. I need a break, I shouldn't be doing this stuff, but I'm doing it regardless because that's what I want to. I need to go heal up. I never healed up, so... That would be pretty smart if I did that. You're gonna T-wave me. Why, man? Why? Why are you gonna T-wave me? That's just, that's just annoying. Just that. Come on. Come on. T-wave? Come on, man. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna bite you. You're gonna just go down straight away. I need to level up, though, uh, Bagon as well as Ghastly. Those two have just been sitting in the back, and they really really just need to level up. So I'm going to send out Bagon right now to Wishmer. The Wishmer should be like level 19, I think. So that actually is the perfect, perfect time for you to come in and just do the, just do some work and get some free experience. So Dragon Breath right away. That's sad. That's special attack. And that's going to do a little bit over half. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. I can't really complain. And you're going to get a level up regardless though. So one more Dragon Breath and you're going to uh, just go ahead and Annihilate this Wishmer. This Wishmer had one wish and it was to live, but now it is dead, so its wish did not come true. You're gonna get plus two on attack. You have higher attack than special attack, so Dragon Breath really is not the most ideal for you. I need Dragon Claw. Like, that's what I need you to learn right now. Hydro Pump's not even that good with you as well because you're not special, you're attack. So basically, your whole. Wait, I think your whole moveset is literally terrible. I'm pretty sure. Dragon Breath, Hydro Pump, Ember, and Headbutt. Your only good move for you is Headbutt. And you have Rock Head, so... Actually, no, Rock Head's gonna get... Like, that's gonna get rid of, um... Rock Head once he evolves, so... That really, I can't really give him a good moveset because of his ability, because he's just gonna get rid of that ability. When he actually levels up eventually, and evolves, because we do want a Salamence. Like, I don't care what you're saying. I am not keeping Bagon as a Bagon. You are going to evolve into a Salamence. Like... I'm sorry, we need we need that like offensive power on the team right now because we have a lot of bulk, but our offensive power is kind of lacking. And like, what's his name? Uh, Monferno? Monferno, I need to teach you a fighting move. Actually, can I buy TMs here? I think I might be able to. Please tell me I can. Can I buy TMs? I don't think I, don't think I talked to the right guy. I think I need to talk to the second guy. Can I buy TMs, please? Please? Ooh, Venoshock, Aerial Ace, um, Low Sweep. That's pretty good. All right, power punch. Uh, that's not gonna, I'm gonna go for low sweep. I think. Just I'm gonna buy it because we do need a decent uh, just fighting move. Like you just don't have any fighting move. Actually, I need. I want to double check though. You are more physically like 
offensive on the attacking uh, side, right? Not special attack because I don't want to be teaching you a move when... You're about equal, so it doesn't really matter either way. It really does not matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and teach you the little sweep because this way you have a fighting move. You can actually deal some damage. That would have been actually helpful in the last episode because we were going against normal types and we could just used you but no no we, we didn't teach it to you anyways go, go teach it to monferno get rid of um what move do i want to get rid of uh maybe facade no, no i don't think we have facade faint uh, that was a move yeah get rid of faint we're not going to use faint ever like ever so just just get rid of that and learn low sweep so there we go we now have an actual fighting move on our fighting pokemon so that's just that's pretty helpful gotta say that is pretty pretty helpful but right away now we need to put bag on in the front i think or gasoline i'm gonna put that i'm gonna put bag on though in the front because you know he takes more experience he just eats it all up so you need everything that you can possibly get at this point like honestly any experience that we can get we need to put straight on him because he's just going to eat it up like it is nothing like it is nothing we need, we need to teach someone to surf I think I'm just gonna teach um, Melodic Surf just solely for the fact that it is a really good, like, HM is 90 power, and you, and, you know, Melodic is a special attacker, so it's 90 power, 100% accuracy, you might as well teach it to him, and then I don't have to keep flopping into Pokemon in and out, and Water Pulse is only 60, but it does have the chance to recover, or uh, to confuse, confuse, eh, I'm gonna get rid of regardless, because it does have the extra 30 power, so that, in my opinion, is definitely worth it, and then also the convenience and not have... Wait, 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 what? Furfru can learn surf? What? How does that work out? Furfru, are you a fish and you have not told me? What? Like, I, I get the fact that dogs can swim. That makes sense to me. I get that completely. But how can a dog swim when a human is on his back? That's the part I just do not get at all. Like... That just that doesn't make any sense to me. That does not make any sense to me at all. <laughs> like that's gotta be a really really strong dog to be able to carry a um like a, a a how old are you? Ten year old? A ten year old on his back? Like sheesh! I'm impressed. I am impressed. Anyways, I'm gonna go out into Furfru. I think because you know you can eat up hopefully the uh, the offensive power there. With the fur coat, and also because I don't really have anyone else to go to. You're going to go for a swagger. Mm. Thank you for that. Thank you for that so much. That was really, really nice of you. I'm just going to go for a headbutt now, see if I actually land. Because if I land, you're instantly dead. And you are instantly dead. There's no chance of you living that. Yeah. Rough skin. Oh, come on, man. That 10 damage. That 10 damage really, really hurt there. Did a whole bunch. Anyways, Gyarados is going to be next. I do want to still go into Bagon first, just because I want that experience on him, and I can't use the EXP share. You guys told me no EXP share, so I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna listen to what you guys said. I'm not gonna use it, but it just makes it really, really more annoying to like kind of grind him up a little bit. And I don't want to do a grinding montage. I hate grinding montages with a passion, so I don't really want to do it at the moment. Anyways, I'm gonna go out into Mightyena. I think the ice moves are neutral on you. If I'm not mistaken, you're gonna go for Thrash. How much is that gonna do? A lot, so go in the Furfru. Furfru, you know, hopefully you can eat this up a little bit. It's my only chance. The EXP share or the EXP now is gonna get kind of divided up between the three. Not really too worried about that. Like, honestly, I'm not really that worried about, about it at all, but you know. Hopefully it's not too bad. Headbutt now. That's probably gonna do like half. Not even, but I am actually making you f um, flinch, and you are now conf oh the flinch confusion hacks right now. Please, please, please hit yourself. Please hit yourself. Please hit yourself. Ha! God, you. <laughs> this is great. I love this right now. This is so great. This is probably the best moment of the Nuzlocke right here. <laughs> Anyways, the Gyarados is now down. I think we're gonna have two level ups probably. Actually, three maybe because Furfur levels up to level 29. You're gonna gain plus three on HP, plus four on speed, and plus two on defense and special defense. Okay. Uh, Bagon's gonna go up to level 20 as well. Uh, Mighty Ann's gonna go up to level 27 as well. And yeah, that about, that about ends it. I thought I was doing okay in my training. 
You were, until I came along. Then that just demolished you, so don't worry about it, son. Don't worry about it. Anyways, we're gonna have the little event here now with Steven, no? Oh, I forgot, I think I gave you a little bit of a British accent. Why, hello. We met in Grand Cave, didn't we? No, I remember it. It's Fish, right? It's good to see that your journey is going well. You know, Fish, in this vast world, there are many kinds of Pokemon. They come in many types. Should you raise different types, or would you only raise Pokemon of a certain type you like? I wonder what you think as a Pokemon trainer. Uh, I believe that we should use different types, because that way you can actually defeat people. Not that it is anything I should be concerning myself with, but somehow I find myself wanting to know what you think. I suppose I should be going. I hope to see you again, though. Alright, see you, Steven. Bye. Ste Steven, leave. Come on, go. Shoot, shoot. What are you doing? Come on, leave. Hmm? Out of nowhere. Laddie. I, I think you're Laddie Ass. Wait, I just want to double check. Laddie. <laughs> I don't know this. This is sad. This is really sad. Yeah, La Laddie Ass just appears out of nowhere. Laddie Ass! <laughs> Did you want us to soar somewhere with you? Fish. Come with me. Okay, now, how did he just get that from literally just the Latias saying, Rah! I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Latias, I believe that it sought us out for help. If that's the case, let's go. Also, how did he know to come to the champion? That is the question. How did he know exactly where the champion was and then, like, who the champion was? Like, I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Anyways, this is the full Kanto region now. This amazed me so much when I was a little kid. Like, just the fact that the whole island was three-dimensional really, really just blew my mind away completely. And we are now on Dream- This- This island is so trippy, in my opinion. We've arrived. Because, like, it's a perspective, really. Like, it's just- In my opinion, it is so, so trippy. I don't know what it is. Not quite unease, not quite fear. But there is something unsettling. It is an odd feeling as though I'm awake in a dream. Or an illusion. I once heard an odd fable. It was said that the two Pokemon that live on this island guard some secret about that great form of evolution. Mega evolution. Could it be that some dangerous element is here because of that? Come, we must get going. Yeah, like, just look at the perspective. It really, in my opinion, is just kind of, like, trippy. Like, because nowhere else in the game does it show the same perspective, and it's, it's like, at, like, a 45-degree angle just looking down at you, and it's just... It's, in my opinion, a really, really strange, strange angle. And hold on one second, I need a cough. <coughs> Sorry about that. I just really, really need to cough. Anyways, I'm going to send out Monferno first, actually. Just, uh, no, because I, I have a feeling you're going to have a Carvana. I have a feeling. So I'm going to go out into, actually, Maniana first. Maniana can definitely take at least one hit. Two hits, I'm not really too sure about, but one hit, he can definitely take. I need to kind of heal you up real quick, so grab some of my super potions, heal up Maniana right there, and then heal up Furfur. We need to buy more super potions because we only have one left over, so we really do need to buy more. That like me, me, see, two, two, ritz. Oh? Those whose memories fades seek to carve them in their hearts. Really? Really? Anyways, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Hello there. How are you doing? Oh, we actually get an encounter. Oh, we get to trade away the Latios. We get to trade away this Latios. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Latios, it's beautiful. If I were to describe this beauty in terms of a stone, it would be a water stone. No, it goes beyond that. Isn't it? Isn't its brilliance like that of a dawn stone? It is a fantastic as a, it is as fantastic as a steer type Pokemon. Yeah, thanks for the compliment, bud. Thank you so much for the compliment. Huh? Team Magma, is it? So Ladios noticed your coming, and that is why it called it on us. Who are you? Huh? M m Mistress Courtney. That pipsqueak over there is the kid that I heard keeps getting in our way. But that inviolably unruffled looking fellow there with him. Hmm, I feel like I ought to know him from somewhere. Maybe he's a contester. Yes. For the time being, get away from me. The Pokemon behind you. It's Mega Stone. No more. No less. That is what. That's what we of Team Magma seek. How about it? Will you get away from me? Or not? I won't! There we go. 
That's right, full of points for the correct answer. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. I'll take part in this battle as well. Let's protect Ladios from these beasts together. We cannot allow Ladios or even a Megastone to fall into the hands of such villains. Well then... Deleting! Deleting? Did, you know, did she just say deleting? Wow, okay, are you trying to delete me now? That's a weird position. What are you, like that pose, that whole like position. Like that's just awkward. Like flat out, it's just awkward. Anyways, you're gonna have out a um, camera up. Well, camera up can flat out die because I'm melodic and melodic can just go for a surf. I don't even care if um, Matang gets hurt by surf. I really do not. I'm gonna swap out right away because I don't really know what you're gonna go for. And if you both team up with me, Mighty Anna might not be able to actually handle that. So swap out into melodic. There we go. Zen headbutt onto onto the coughing. That's super effective. He is now down for the count. That's great. That's that's one Pokemon down. That literally is one Pokemon done uh, down. And Camera is gonna go for an Earth Power onto Matang. Okay, that's going to he's gonna live that of course because even if he did not um, like live, he he would have lived with one HP. He has Sturdy, so he would have lived at least with one point of HP. And then I kill Matang. <laughs> I kill Matang. Do I get experience for that? Please tell me I get experience for that. Please. I think I'm. I, I don't think I did, but I hope I did. I really do. Mariana wants to learn Scary Face. Mariana, you are scary enough. You do not need to be learning Scary Face. I'm sorry. You do not need to be learning that. You are scary enough. You're a murderer. <laughs> That's just too strong, right? What's with the slurp? I don't like Courtney. Cor Courtney's character is just so strange. Pia! That's a weird word. Pia. Pia! As anticipated. Unanticipated. You. Target locked. Complete. Commencing. Experiment. You. Forever. Ah. Returning home. Wait for me, Cook Courtney. The Courtney is such a strange character, in my opinion. Good work, Fish. Ah, oh, that's right. We should first heal up the Pokemon that fought on our behalf, shouldn't we? Yeah, because you kind of, you kind of had yours die. So yeah, you, you probably should heal it up. Your team's health was restored. You performed spectacularly. We were able to protect both this wondrous Pokemon and its Megastone, thanks to you. Yeah, thanks for that. And as it looks as though Latias may have also recognized you as a trainer worthy of its trust. Now why did you choose me? There's a champion right next to me. He could choose that champion, but no, he chooses me. I don't get it. Look, it's trying to offer you its allegiance. I believe it is trying to show that it wants to go with you on your journey. Go on, hold out your hand to it. Latios, join the team, so we will be able to actually want to trade that away. Your party is full, select the Pokemon sent back to your PC. Sorry, Gastly. I'm sending it back. I mean, of course, Latios is not going to be uh, staying on the team. I'm going to be one of trading this away. It really depends on what we get. Then it might change, but for the time being, Gastly's still gonna be on the team. Anyways, I need to call you Fish. No. Fish. Lord. Wonder. Luck. There we go. So I need to actually tweet out right now saying Wonder Trading Now. Go, 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 go. Anyways, you'd like to nick it or uh, nickname it. You'd like to nick it, Fish Lord Wonderlock. Yes, I would. Alright, thank you. Uh Fish Lord Wonderlock is carrying a piece of Ladio sight. Well, I'm gonna be taking that off, of course, because I do not want to be trading away my Ladio sight. Like, sorry, man. I kind of need that. You should take this from me. And now he gives us a Mega Ring for free, but we can't Mega Evolve anyone on the team because both of actually, wait, yeah. Oh, that's sad to think. Both of our Megas died. The two Pokemon to die were our two Megas. Wow. Okay then, okay then, that's literally all I can say, that's a shame. Without the Mega Bracelet that I just gave you, and the Mega Stones that Pokemon may hold, your Pokemon would be able to achieve a powerful boost, quite unlike any unusual f or usual form of evolution. But if only you, but it, only if you are bound by great affection, you will be able to achieve Mega Evolution. I suggest you try it with Latios the next time that you happen to have the chance in battle. Mega Evolution is a phenomenon that has long been shrouded in mystery. What is a Mega Stone? What is a keystone? The process by which bonds between Pokemon and people manifest in tangible power. How do we explain that? Love. 
As literally all I can say is love. I hope that the mega bliss I just gave you might bring us one step closer to finding the answer to these questions. If that settles that, should we be heading back, together with Ladias waiting so patiently for us there? Alright, goodbye. See you later. Have a good day. <laughs> but now, also like, how did Team Aqua, or Team Magma, sorry, make it here? That's my question. Like, we got a ride here. How did they make it here? Because it'd be kind of hard to like get a ship all the way out there. And they need to know exactly where you're heading. And it's called the Dream Island for a reason. Thank you for your help, Fish. <laughs> Perhaps it's trying to tell you to take good care of Ladios. <laughs> Alright, see ya. Have fun. Anyways, in the end, you were a far greater help than I expected you might be. I expected you and your team would be able to best both Route 19 ahead and even the Fort Tree Gym beyond that. I'll be curious to see how much stronger you might grow by the next time we meet. Until then, Fish. Okay, so I need to connect to the internet. Like, connect to the interwebs right now. So while we are connecting to the interwebs, I'm going to go ahead and tweet out, basically saying that I'm going to be one locking because I know that some people are a little delayed when they go ahead and say that they're one trading because they take some time to actually look the thing and see what it says and then want to trade. So this way, at least, um, I'm giving them a little bit of extra time and I hate how it takes so long to connect to the internet. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Anyways, I need now. All right, can I? There we go. I want to want to trade. Thank you. And I hate how you have to like save the game every single time that you try to want to trade. I really, really just do not like it. Anyways, wait. I need to get rid of the Ladio site. Shoot, shoot. I need to get rid of that now. I think I'm gonna have to do it again. But whatever. Get rid of the because I'm not trading that away. I'm sorry. I need to take that. I need to take that from you because I am not giving away my Ladio site to some random person out there. I'm sorry, but it ain't happening. It ain't happening. And I almost did that too. I almost did that. That would have been really, really bad. I would have been annoyed. I would have been. Anyways, there we go. We're going to go ahead and look for a trade partner. Whoever it is out there, please give me like an electric type or a grass type. That's what I really, really need right now. And it's actually kind of funny. You don't really see many grass types and electric types in one of the trades, except for like, um, like Electrikes pop up, Minims pop up, and Pluses pop, pop up. But anyways, Azriel from Florida in the US of A is going to be our partner. So we're going to trade away this Latios. Please give me something good. Please give me something good. I'm not complaining. That's a Joltik. I asked for Electric type. You gave me Electric type. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Like, that's going to be some good stuff. That's going to be some really, really good stuff. And also, you have like a bug type, so psychic types, you know, I have a dark type, but now I also have a bug type, so that's pretty good. What level are you? You should be perfectly fine, but I just want to double check. Level one, do you have any good moves? All right, you have compound eyes, string shot, leech life, spider web, pursuit. Okay, you have plus speed. Wait, I want to check this, because some people say... The, the blue means it's plus, and some people say the blue means minus. Okay, so does blue mean plus or minus <laughs> in Pokemon or S? Because I can never tell. I literally cannot tell at all. Because I thought it was blue meant up, and then some told me that blue meant down. And I, I, I was just, that was just confused. Red is increased, blue is decreased. Yeah, red is increased. So he has plus speed, minus attack. That's not bad. That actually is not bad at all because he needs to be able to go quickly. And if I just give him special attacks, he should be fine. So, like just bug bite, no, not bug bite, uh, ooh, infestation. Ooh, we could, we could give him infestation. That would not be bad. That would not be bad at all. Anyways, this is not a new route, sadly, so we can't get another encounter here. That makes me sad, but I want, eh, I good, I got, I got through you. I want to see if I can get another one. I want to say, can I get through? Can I get through? All right. So we got a new route here. Okay, please, please. We got a new route. No, a new encounter here. So who do I want in the front to try and take this guy on? Mighty Anna might be able to. I'm gonna go with Monferno first though, because you are lower leveled, and you can just simply go for like whatever move you want. It won't really matter. Anyways, I'm gonna get a Match Repel. Not gonna be too too useful at the moment, but we need our encounter. Come on, get our encounter for this route and wait, Pokeballs. Pokeballs. We have one Pokeball. 
Bull Gribbles. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I was really, really scared there for a second. I was like, no, no. Don't be telling me I don't have any Pokeballs. I mean, that's not great for Pokeballs. Like, we should have more. But, am I not going to run it? There we go. I was going to say, am I not going to run into anything? But we run into a... Lanoom. Okay. Like, I can't complain. I really cannot. Anyways, I can go for a Flame Wheel probably because it's raining out there. So, my Fire Attacks are actually going to be weakened. So, you should definitely live this. Like, by far. You should definitely, definitely win this. Flame Wheel... How much does- that does nothing. That did nothing. Oh my god, cup. Oh my gosh. Dude, Monferno, you need to like, power up. That actually is pathetic. That is pathetic. What are you doing? Do you even lift, bro? Do you even lift? You are a fighting type Pokemon and you don't even lift. Good job, man. Good job. You need to start lifting. Like, come on. Get get them big weights. Like, you gotta curl those biceps with the weights. Come on. You gotta start doing that. The bench presses, everything. Push-ups, sit-ups, everything. Come on. You need to get strong. Mud sport. That's gonna weaken the power of uh, fire moves. Uh, electricity. All right. Don't, I don't really care because you're in the red now. You're burned, so you should get caught. Like, no doubt about it. Can throw a great ball at you. You should get caught. Like. Like, it's nothing. Like, it's a Caterpie. You should definitely get caught. Fun fact, for those that did not know, Caterpie in the original game, so, like, yellow, um, blue, and red, wow, you didn't get caught. Caterpie has a 100% catch rate. Like, literally, you can throw any Pokeball at it. Okay, this is my last chance. Do not escape. I want all the encounters I can possibly get. Please do not, like, just die. Please do not die. Please, that's all I'm asking. But, yeah, Caterpie has a 100%... <sighs> just die. Just just flat out die right now. Please. Please. Just 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 go away. Just go away. Come on. I expected better out of you. I expected better. I expected another encounter and you're like, no. Too bad. Anyways guys. I'm going to wrap up the episode here just solely for the fact that we are running a little bit low on time. But anyways, guys, if you guys have enjoyed the episode so far, be sure to burn the like button down below with the good old skull door. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel and you want to see more. But anyways, guys, I will see you all next time. Have a great day and goodbye.